A very good evening to one and all from the EMS Stadium in Kozikod for a battle between two heavyweights of the I League in their own right. It is Gokulam Kerala versus Churchill Brothers as we see the picturesque EMS Stadium and the picturesque Kozikod venue as we prepare for battle between two absolute stalwarts of the league, Gokulam Kerala versus Churchill Brothers. And again, a very honourable moment for me as we have Mr. Steve in the studio with me. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here and I'm very excited to see what Gokulam is going to bring us. I'm excited to see both teams, but I haven't seen the Gokulam arena here. Um, we have played Gokulam in the past. I heard there's a lot of top supporters and great support over there. So let us check this out and have a great evening. Absolutely. As we see in the Gokulam dressing room and, and the names there are testament to the quality that this team brings as we see the celebration outside the EMS stadium the passion that these fans bring here in Kerala are second to absolutely no one as we see the star of the show at the moment Alex Sanchez stepping out of the bus and they will be confident in the way that they have been um, moving around and there's the Mainstay, as we hear from the Gokulam in coach. In football, you have one challenge every every week. So in today, I think we have to recover the our best performance. Uh, I think we we did a very good week. Uh, we are going to play with a very good uh, squad as well, with uh, good players. But I uh, I hope to see the 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 best uh, Gokulam Kerala. So we we had a. Uh, a good uh, training session along the week and I hope we can do a good match. We can do a good match and, and try to get the three points for, for our supporter and to get a better mentality. A confident coach, Tom Go Aramas, very, very adamant on making a comeback from the loss in the last match against Shillong Lejong, who are on a rampant force forward as they beat Gokulam Kerala three goals to one in the last match as we see the supporters keep dancing around this beautiful tigerish paintings on their body as we see Churchill brothers some refer to them as the fallen kingdom but they are far from fallen because you see the players on paper and they will be second to none and when they face a team like Gokulam Kerala they've always somehow come second best and they would look to change things up today as they eh, venimos a esta as cancha, we hear from the coach once again. que es un rival difícil, complicado, pero bueno, nosotros hemos trabajado en estos días como para para hacer eh, un buen partido. Eh, tenemos eh, la plantilla completa y bueno, esperamos hacer un buen partido. We prepare for this match like we prepare for all matches. Uh, we think this is a tough uh, rival. But we are here to try to, to, to do a, a good match. We have full squad and we already prepared for this. Confident Churchill Brothers Argentinian squad as he says that we are preparing this just like any other match. But there I'm sure has to be some homework done when you play the two-time champions in Gokulam Kerala because the Malabarians have been a force to reckon with in the recent past. As you see the Gokulam Kerala first 11 has Devansh Vikas, Salam Ranjan, Aminu Puba back in the first 11, Sahif, Shri Kuttan Vyas, Edu Bedia, Abhijit K, Basit, Lili Perdomo and the man of the moment, Alex Sanchez leading the line with eight goals to his name, leading the I-League scoring chart as well. And on to Churchill Brothers, like we were calling them, a fallen kingdom. But they are a team, when you play them, you put respect to their name. And they will be looking to get back to their best. And what a start it could be today, if they can put it past Gokulam Kerala. It would be the first victory to their name against Gokulam Kerala. Because they still haven't beaten Gokulam Kerala in their last five encounters four wins in the name of Gokulam Kerala only one draw losing both their encounters to the Malabarians by a solitary goal last season in the I-League 
And I and you see the first 11 for Churchill Brothers, Shubhashish Roy Chaudhary, experienced campaigner, Gogu, the right back, Kaleari, Pony, Ferralte, Anil, Ricardo Costa, Sebastian Zo, Jichiara, Stanley and Martin. There's a three-pronged attack for Churchill Brothers. So but Churchill Brothers have never backed down from a challenge and they've never backed down from playing attacking football, no matter who the opposition is. And that goes the same for today. And I was just going to say before the starting 11 came on, um, Gokulam Kerala will want to come back from that loss in Shillong indeed. A very controversial game as most of you have seen. We can see the uh, referees for today. Suresh Devraj, Alim Basha and a Cholan as the assistant referees and fourth official Arvind Sekhar. So as I was saying, indeed, um, a very controversial match with uh, some moments where the Gokulam Kerala bench was very angry at what was happening in, inside the stadium. Um, so they will have to put their focus back after a 3-1 loss over there uh, compared to Churchill Brothers who won their game, the last one. Um, two different ways, but indeed two very strong teams. Uh, their foreign compartment is very strong also, which which at the end is the, the extra touch sometimes that can make a difference. Um, but we will have to see inside this stadium which team will be able to push further. Is it Gokulam coming back direction, the top two? Or is it Churchill Brothers moving up the big table? Absolutely, it's, it's, it's an enthralling encounter uh, which is on the cards here for today. And you can hear the atmosphere is absolutely electric here at the EMS Stadium here in Cozy Court, as you'd expect from a Kerala crowd. Have you ever experienced a Kerala crowd with your club? No, at the moment, no. We only played them at Kalyani Stadium. We played Gokulam Kerala two years ago at home against uh, in Eiffel Shield. Um, a match I still remember very, very clearly after we went into a semi final with Mohamedan in Kom Kolkata Premier League. We were Put together with uh, Gokulam Kerala, 2-0, we were winning until the last 15 minutes. Um, and then, I don't know what exactly happened with uh, our central defence, but we conceded two goals in the last 15 minutes. We went into extra time, the goalkeeper saved at least 5-6 shots. Unbelievable shots, some of them. And then we lost in the penalties, how it sometimes goes with the young squad. But, uh, of course, I've seen uh, on television, I've seen some matches from Kerala Blasters, I've seen matches from Gokulam, and I always see loads and loads of people, which is also in Bengal. I cannot say it's different because when we play the East Bengals, Mohan Bagans, uh, Mohamedans, uh, these are quality matches also with a lot of people. Uh, this year in CFL was one of the first times that public really was back. Uh, it's fantastic to play in front of 15, 20,000 people, some matches. So it's the same what we would want to do if we get over there. And it's always a boost. Like I always keep saying, it's always a boost for you as a team, as a player, as a coach, to do that extra 5% uh, when you have a crowd behind you. And as we know in Kerala, there is loads and loads of supporters. So... We will see what it will give for the home team who need to bounce back. That's a beautiful uh, explanation that you gave here and, uh, and a little bit of dive into the past as well because Nukulam Kerala, when you mentioned, you mentioned two powerhouses when you mentioned Indian football about Bengal and Kerala. But today it's a battle between Kerala and Goa because Goa is considered also a heavyweight in Indian football and they've produced a lot of Indian footballers in the past and there are some very talented Goans in this Churchill Brothers side as well and what is very interesting to see as we see the lineups for both the teams today Gokulam Kerala have a lot of Spanish flair amongst them and Churchill Brothers on the other hand a lot of South American dancing samba in there with a lot of Argentinians and Uruguayans in there so it, it's certainly going to be very very interesting to see this clash of style the style of play the an Argentinian coach at the helm of it what do you think that, that, that will that influence the style of play from both the teams 
main thing is all of them will understand each other because they all speak Spanish. So even during the game, you will see that there will be moments of the Spanish players of Gokulam who will be talking to the Argentinian or Uruguayan players from Churchill Brothers. And that will give again that extra cachet in between two styles, two different styles of playing. But still being, you already see both Spanish play, talking players here laughing with each other, having a good time just before the match, uh, changing sides, most probably what we're seeing here. But it's going to be that extra little touch in they, they can speak to each other, they understand what they are doing, which happens in matches. You want to give something tactically, you speak in another language to the opposition for you not to know, but here they will understand themselves also. So we will see how that will go during the match. But what I've noticed of both teams, they have top quality players. Um, they can make a difference. We have a top scorer on the pitch right now. Uh, we have players who can bring that ball in between the lines. I'm just very curious on how this match is going to move forward. Oh, absolutely. And, and a little against the run of the league, Gokulam lost that match against Shilong Lajong, which pushed them back a little bit. Churchill Brothers, on the other hand, were on a losing streak. But then they suddenly had that 4-0 victory, which must have given them a world of confidence going into this match against Gokulam Kerala. And they'll be that extra pump always. They've never beaten Gokulam Kerala. And it certainly will work as a motivation for those players to give everything and cover every blade of grass to put it past the Malabarians today. Yeah, and, and it's going to be a little bit of a different style, both of them, because with everybody in Gokulam Kerala, he will try to bring those balls in between for Alex Sanchez uh, to run. And on the other side, you have... Uh, with, uh, it, with it, uh, sorry, my mistake here. With Ricardo up front, he's more the target man. And he keeps that ball under control, tries to push the ball around that his teammates, especially Martin, can run around him. It's a different style of play. As you already see Martin and uh, Ricardo coming up front, immediately putting that press on Buba. That's, for me, what I want to see. Who is going to get that winning style here between the two players? It, it's going to be touch and go from what I feel because no team will back down from closing down the spaces very, very early on and they'll look to assert their dominance in that midfield region very early on as happens in, in these big, big heavyweight encounters. Sometimes the quality and the, and the expectations precede the quality that, that is there and I hope that that is not the case today because these two teams... I feel should be challenging for the title with the quality that we see at least on paper. And if we need to believe what we've received for formations here in our hands, um, I think that the Churchill Brothers coach has tried to put up a tactical plan with playing with four in the back, three close to each other central midfielders, one attacking midfielders and two strikers, which we've seen already with uh, Martin and Ricardo up front. Um, so I think it's part of a tactical plan what she wants to put into the system against Gokulam and which could, in my eyes, work in getting a DVD outside the match. Oh, absolutely. He certainly has to control the class of Edu Bedia. It, it, he is a class apart, isn't he? He's been playing for the likes of FC Goa, but he's plying his trade for Gokulam Kerala in this season's I-League and he'll be a leader in that midfield or will he not because that man Aminu Buba has also been quite a mainstay in that defence of Gokulam Kerala for years and that's the last time they won the I-League on the final day in the Salt Lake Stadium I remember the atmosphere I was lucky to commentate in on that match as well and it was a stunning display of football and then Gokulam Kerala in the end shutting out uh, the noise in the Salt Lake Stadium by winning in the I-League in front of a packed crowd. And what a feeling that must be to silence a crowd of 50,000-odd supporters. Yeah, those are the matches indeed what you do it for as a coach and for as players. Um, you try to get into match situations like these, which are not always, let us already first attack here from Gokula.
There was already a little excitement coming on the line and it was at the end the linesman who made signal that there was a foul. Uh, so you feel immediately also that noise going up, people moving up, uh, trying to put that extra press. And that's what we will see a lot here. The ball going up and down. Um, and what I have already been seeing is that it's Tenley who is uh, trying to follow Eddie Bidia as much as possible. So there's a possibility that they're going to play man on man. And Edu Bedia with that free kick and that's where he is the most dangerous on his left foot curling those balls in but on that occasion it was very well dealt with by the Churchill brothers defense as they have to do the entire evening because that man on your screen Alex Sanchez is a predator in the box as this long throw comes in and it indeed is a long throw the header from Abhijit K, I believe, just goes off target. But what a throw. Reminds me of Rory Delap, a certain Stoke City player who was very, very famous for these long throw-ins. But that indeed was a very, very long throw. That's very impressive to see. At the end, these are extra danger moments. Eh? If you have a player like that who can bring a ball that deep inside a box, uh, it needs to have the minimum of deflection and it can make a huge difference. It's, it's at the end like having an extra corner in your hands and it's, coaches are not always looking for it to just go for a player who has a long throw in but they will try to see if they can use it in their advantage. Look like a trip on the back, more accidental than anything else. The referee says nothing doing and Abhijit K with a beautifully spreaded ball out onto the right. It's free good turn and he has been brought down. It's just on the edge of the penalty box. Earlier in the afternoon, right on the fifth minute, we had seen a yellow card. And again, this time, it looks like for more legitimate reasons. Oh, that, that, that certainly is a foul or is it a dive? A closer look may have given us that, but it certainly looked like he got him at the edge of the penalty box but again a very very early yellow card for Churchill Brothers and this is certainly Edu Bedia territory and this could be the opening that Gokulam was hoping for very early on in this match and that's a quick caution for Ralti you have to be careful like we said in the first match also if you get a yellow card that quickly but let us first focus on this dangerous free kick that's upcoming. Which was, I thought, defended by a Gokulam player. But apparently it's a Churchill player here. And it started raining very hard. So can be that this is going to make a little bit of problem on the pitch. Another long throw incoming. Certainly, what a header that is from Aminu Buba. That's two headers out of two throw-ins. And that certainly is causing danger. The tallest man on the pitch, Aminu Buba, getting his head to it. And Shubhashish Roy Chaudhary all of a sudden was scrambling across goal. And the ball, thankfully for him, goes wide off the frame. And that is dangerous. My Churchill brothers have escaped the wrath of the Gokulam attack. And they would look to regroup themselves as the rain absolutely Pouring down here at the EMS Stadium, Kochi. The conditions will certainly be very, very different. It will become more and more difficult for the players to control the ball. The goalkeepers have to be a little bit more careful in their handling of the ball because the ball will skid off the surface right now. And it's all about adapting to the conditions. And these are top teams and these are top players and they would know just what to do. But Gokulam Kerala have started this game beautifully so far. They are on the attack and Churchill Brothers look a little disorganized uh, right now. They're just in a helter-skelter to get things right at the moment. And yeah, especially they need to be careful with uh, these balls that are coming from the throw-ins. At the moment they are not organized in who is taking which player and that resulted in two... Uh, crosses with headers already um, so that's why also goalkeeper every time he's shouting to his defenders 
you need to take this player, you need to, the tasks need to be done properly. Because if you're going to keep giving that open chance for Gokulam to give a header every single time, one of them will be a goal. And that's a chance, Alex Sanchez! The volley straight into Shubashish Roy Chaudhary, who confidently, almost nonchalantly, bombs that away. And this is Churchill Brothers on the other end. Aminu Buba bundles. Is that Martin Chavez? He's bundled over. That is not Martin Chavez. I think it's Ricardo Chichiara. Yes, it is Chichiara. And that certainly is a sandwiched foul between Aminu Buba and Kaleari. I, be I, I beg your pardon. Salam Ranjan and Buba Aminu. That will be one of the one on ones we will see on this pitch regularly. Two big bodies. One for Amino Buba, which we know, strong player, tall player, will use his body. And in the meantime, we've seen that Ricardo can do that also in Indian football here. So we will see this happening regularly, that one-on-one -on -one duo. And at the end, we will have to see who will use the power at his best form. So Gokulam has had two free kicks in dangerous positions. And now it's a chance for Churchill Brothers because this looks like ideal distance for the Uruguayan to have a crack at the goal of Devan Tabas. And if he somehow gets the ball to drop in front of the goalkeeper, it could spell danger for Gokulam Kerala here. This is Martin Shavas, but straight into the wall. And the shot comes in next. On his left foot this time is blazed over. More optimistic than anything else on that occasion. We're not troubled on that occasion. Devan Tabas. We're seeing from the beginning of the game, we're seeing a couple of small opportunities on both sides. So I think that the tactics of the coaches at the moment is working. That for Churchill Brothers is a little bit more defensive with counter-attacks through Martin and Ricardo. And for Gokulam who is trying to have that power with Alexis Sanchez up front. And we still haven't seen the replay of this shot of Alexis Sanchez. But the ball came out of nowhere into his foot completely alone. And powered onto the goalkeeper, which in my eyes he should have done better with. Oh, absolutely. That, that, that fell out of almost nowhere, didn't it? And now Churchill Brothers, it looks like they, they're going to be a very rampant counter-attacking team. But then again, a lack in communication once again amongst the Churchill Brothers, almost presenting Gokulam Kerala with a chance. But look at that turn, Deshiara. Certainly been fouled on that occasion by Edu Bedia. But he's, he's, he's turning it on with his, like you said, using his body beautifully to shield the ball away from Edu Bedia. Almost turns away from him as if he was not there. And at the moment, uh, they are keeping Edu Bedia most of the times out of the game. But of course, as a coach and as players, you cannot just focus on one player and leave the rest of them free. Because it will happen that there is suddenly a focus on someone, one person only, and three, four of the other players are going to play that ball around, which we know with Perdomo, who has the possibilities, with Alexis Sanchez, who has the possibilities. So they can't just focus on getting a Dubedi out of the match, but it's one of the focal points that you need to know. We can't let this guy on his left foot, we can't give him the opportunity, but don't forget that there is 11 players on the pitch. Absolutely, as we see Abhijit K on the ground being attended to by the physio as he's been helped onto his feet by Shubhashish Roy Chaudhary as Churchill can look forward to take this free kick and get the game underway once again. There's the big Argentinian centre-back Kaliari Who's going to get us underway with this free kick? Waiting for the referee to get us underway. Yes, 
and place it square. This is Ponif. It's a very low header in the end. Compared to Mo. Amino Buba with the towering header once again. It's not easy to get past a six foot five inch frame of Amino Buba. And the header from Shahif steps out and Gogu this time is going to take the throw in down the right hand side for Churchill Brothers as we see the Argentinian coach of Churchill Brothers Edgardo Raul Malvesetiti Gogu he's going to attempt a long throw now not as long as Vikas on the other end there's no match on that, on that competition I wonder what he was trying to do no, but the, as in the previous match, they tried to get for a deflection, which is a little bit of a different story than what uh, Gokulam is doing. Gokulam tries to get that ball immediately inside the box. They tried to go for a deflection a little bit more on the first zone to make it more difficult. Um, but it's something indeed that is a different setup with still quite a long throw in. But two times he missed. Maybe his hands were a little bit wet, maybe because normally he throws it longer than this. But uh, every time it's a little bit of a, of a different setup from coaches. Um, and it's something that they both need to be careful for. So far, both the goalkeepers have not been called into action. 15 minutes have passed by and that is a very, very poor goal kick from Devan Stabas for Gokulam Kerala FC. Slowly but surely allowing Churchill brothers to settle into this game after that initial onslaught of pressing and that, that has been a hallmark of Gokulam's game in every single game that I've seen them play or have been present to commentate in them they have had that early press and they always look for that early goal as well and somehow seven out of ten times they normally get that and today in the opening 15 minutes, they've not really troubled the Churchill brothers goal. But they've pressed them down. They've created trouble. And they'll still be hoping for that goal coming in early on. Edu Bedia tries a very sneaky flick past the flailing legs of Ponif. And it doesn't quite get it. As we see Bertomo on your screens. And he plays it forward. And again, we can see that overload on the right hand side of players between Gokulam and Churchill. It's almost a scramble for the ball at the moment. looking for Martin Chavez. This is Vikas down the right hand side for Gokul and Kerala. Gokul and Kerala trying to dance to the tunes of the supporters. But so far, Churchill brothers are managing the tunes very, very well. Keeping them at bay. This is Vikas. Takes the throw in. Oh, that's a beautiful chested take. Pertomo. And at the moment it's indeed Gokulam who has a little bit the upper hand compared to Churchill Brothers. There's not made too many opportunities except in the first two, three minutes with these free kicks and throw-ins. But an upper hand more tactically having that ball in their position. As we saw they have quite a lot of the ball position at the moment. Um, but Churchill Brothers is trying to find a little bit more that director approach to the two players up front with Martin and with Ricardo. Um, so it's a little bit of a different style of play at the moment. We'll see further what, what is going to happen right now. Let us go minute by minute and let us see action by action how it's going to go further within this game. At this point, it, it looks like there's just more muscle in that midfield from Gokulam Kerala. And Churchill Brothers are unable to break the shackles and Ricardo tries to switch play but falls straight into the feet of Shri Kuttan. Smart hit. 
Mercado tries to get control of that midfield. It's Dishiara. Can he find some support here? Dishiara sweeps it in, looking for Gogu, but the header comes in and easily dealt with. And this is Nini Peltobo on the up. Almost gets it down to walking pace. This is Basit Emad. Basit switches it. But not enough quality in that ball to find Sri Kutan as the ball steps out for another throw in for Churchill Brothers. And this was especially under the negative pressure of Ricardo who came running from behind him, put that pressure on team. Suddenly he felt him in the back and the ball was kicked out. But as you were talking, there is indeed a fight in midfield going on and you've already seen that Martin has been dropping down a little bit. So it's almost becoming like a Christmas tree and we got a first shot here. It's almost like a Christmas tree formation where you've got four in the back, three defensive midfielders, two attacking midfielders and Ricardo up front. Absolutely, like you said, it's going to be a fascinating battle and then both these teams are going to look to take control of that midfield region. Both teams a little cautious in their approach because they know an early goal for either team would set them back. But they're holding their horses together at the moment. They've done well. Basit certainly outpowers his counterpart on that occasion. Ricardo He's always going to be at the heart of every Churchill attack, Ricardo. And then he's trying to be at the end of everything. And here he is again, Ricardo Costa. And he's going to play a pivotal role for Churchill Brothers in building up those attacks and get the connection between the defense and the attack. He is the holding midfielder for Churchill Brothers as this ball goes out for another throw. -in. What they are doing very well at the moment is keeping it over the eye out of the game. So whatever formation, whatever tactics that the coach has told him to do, is very focused on the Badia and he's not finding the space to play his normal game. And you see that a little bit inside the game of Gokulam because they are struggling to have more of control over that ball. It's all a little bit more of, of trying to find the wingers right now, but they're not finding them either. It's not really, really working at the moment for Gokulam until they find that space of two, three players, especially with Edu Bidia on the ball right now. You see immediately there's always two players on him. This is a tactical part what the coach has put him through. They also, as a result of what's happening is Alexis Sanchez is dropping as we saw just moments earlier. He was almost near the left-hand wing center line that he was trying to make a run from and there was no one really troubling the Churchill brothers' centre-back. So, so the target man for Gokulam goes away if, if Alexis Sanchez comes back so far because there's no one really taking his place. And the attacking potent on that occasion goes away. But this could change any moment with Edu Bedia. Tries to take it on. That was, he's trying to be a little extra clever on that occasion. Trying to catch Shubhashish Roy Chaudhary off his line. And I think indeed, as we saw, he tried to play it smart. He tried to bring that ball directly. Maybe with a little bit of that extra power, it would have worked. But right now, it was a very easy control of the goalkeeper. That was a very, very clever ball from Alex Sanchez. Trying to free Abhijit K. He was just to whisk away, away, whisk away from him getting his foot to it. That indeed shows what that man is capable of even when he's not scoring the goal. Stanley. The Shiara. Beautiful turn. Tries to switch play. Gogu pressing down. Sahif on that occasion. This is... Peritomo, this is Sahif again, under pressure, Churchill Brothers following the orders 
of their boss and they seem to be doing well because they are pressing them very very high on the pitch they're not letting the defenders rest very very easily and play it out from the back and you can see what he's trying to explain to them and then they, they, that's exactly what they're doing right now at the moment and Gokulam Kerala are so far not having too many answers to it no at the moment uh, tactics are working for Churchill brothers it hasn't given them many many opportunities yet and the players up front are looking a little bit because you see that they don't have right now these quick movements these quick passings because Martin is much closer direction Ricardo at the moment and I even see Ricardo dropping down and further and further which gives the defenders of uh, Goklam especially Buba a lot of space you see him completely free the whole time um, but he gets under press the moment that the ball comes to him so it's part of a tactical plan of the coach and until this moment it's working well, that's a cheap giveaway in the end and there's Shri Kutan who has changed wings here and now it's Edubedia Basit gives it away Deshiaro with the effort oh my word that is football at its highest order what a take and what a save that is from Devan Tabas called into action in this match for the first time he comes out with a flying one-handed save to keep Dishiara off the charts. That's it's absolutely wondrous effort on that occasion. But Martin was not happy because he was on a better position. It was a wonderful shot indeed and, and an even wonderful, more wonderful save. But Martin was free on his right side. Maybe on a one on one with the goalkeeper would have been more dangerous. And we know the strength of Buba, of course. Don't give him the ball like that because the ball will be gone. But these moments indeed, sometimes it's good to have a shot like that. But I'm always thinking further, what would have been the best option? And the best option in my eyes would have been Martin. That was great notice there. But take nothing away from that shot and save that. That certainly was out of nothing, Churchill brothers. Reminding Gokulam Kerala and the Malabarians that don't write us off. We are here to give you a fight of your life here. And that almost stunned this crowd into silence because the certainly the music has gone off for a while. Churchill brothers once again on the ball. We're talking about the ones who were making music. Maybe they were getting back onto their position out inside uh, because the rain has stopped almost. So I think they've moved back a little bit closer to the pitch to move, make even more noise. And that has pushed their players forward again. The moment the music started playing, immediately there was an opportunity for Gokulam. Dancing to the tunes of their own supporters here, Gokulam Kerala. That was a close chance. That was a beautiful cross in Alex Sanchez. Also in the box, trying to get his head to it. Churchill Brothers survive another onslaught from the Malabarians. This is Gogu who's going to take this throw in. Takes it in his stride, Stanley. Now, this is Tishiara with some space to work with. Tishiara steps in, couldn't get the connection. And I know you're a little frustrated beside me. I'll let you do the talking for this. Yeah, absolutely. It's a second opportunity where now Stanley was next to him on the left side. Completely left open as we're going to see here. Good dribble to the inside. Uh, regrettably, we don't see it on the image, but a little bit on further on the left side, Stanley was here. And I pointed it out to you immediately. Just a simple pass. Maybe he can do one touch, shot at goal. But again, he goes for his own instead of looking at his teammates. I, I, I felt the frustration of a head coach beside me in the studio box as Rishiara didn't quite play that pass and took that shot on. But absolutely, we, we spoke even in the previous match about decision making. And that makes such a huge difference in between little things of scoring a goal and not scoring a goal. 
and those opportunities and those little decisions will probably be the difference in this match when you play two heavyweights at this level. These moments as a coach, of course, if the ball goes in, you can't say anything. But the ball doesn't go in at the end. And for me personally, it would have gotten me so frustrated next to the line because two times there's an opportunity for a player on a better position. And as I say, if the ball goes in, I can't say anything. But right now, two times you would have thought, give that ball, and I'm sure that the coach would have been thinking the same thing. Give that ball away, get a player on a better position, and let us hope that he can finish it at that point. But he is certainly at the center of everything, and he certainly seems to be taking everything in his path. He's also having a smile here. He's taking right, left. He's just taking them on, isn't he? This time he doesn't hit the target and he apologizes to his teammates immediately. Creating absolute havoc right now. And Dishiara, he's at the center of everything. He seems to be getting every second ball. But I wonder what Tabas was doing on that occasion. This seems to be a little chaotic at this point in time. What's happening, Steve? Yeah, I don't know really myself here. We see passes that shouldn't happen. We see Ricardo shooting from everywhere. We're seeing goalkeepers kicking the ball out where there's no one. It's, it's all one of these moments where you think, what, what, what is it right now? And then most probably within a minute, you're going to get a banger of a goal somewhere where we think, okay, we forget the last five minutes, we just focus on this goal. That's how it goes most of the times. But it's, it's just too much not good enough for that extra quality for a finish or a goal, which we should see of these two teams. Absolutely, and, and, and that's exactly what Nili Perdomo will try to do here. It's just calming things down. Let's get our football sorted and let's get us going but then again as we say that another miss pass and Gogu gets past Edupedia with some skills on display but just takes a little forward and gets the corner for Churchill Brothers as Sahif steps in he's energetic right back Gogu as we saw there once again he evaded that lunging challenge from Edupedia who's not got his footing yet in this game but do not write him off the quality that he possesses you can see that any second as Martin Chavez the Uruguayan decides to take this corner kick and the referee stops it because there must have been some pushing and shoving in the box all set to go Martin takes it it's not a bad one Another cross comes in this time. The sliding and the lunging challenge from Gokulam Churchill Brothers trying to attack that box. Deshiara once again seems to be at the end of every single attack and the assistance flag on that occasion will calm things down once again and let Gokulam breathe a sigh of relief as they will happily take this free kick. And again, it was one of these moments. He was maybe in offside, maybe not. The linesman decided he was. But again, there was two players inside his back where he could have just deflected it to. And one of them was completely free. That was Lendley. He should have again looked behind him. One maybe small deflection. Or even if you know you're on offside, you step away, you let that ball go, and you give him the opportunity to shoot himself. But after the opening 15 minutes or so, the next 15 minutes or so have flown by in a very chaotic manner. But what has happened in these last 15 to 18 minutes is that Churchill Brothers has seen more of the ball and they have created more of the chances as well. This is Basit Emma down the right hand side. He's lacked quality in those final passes as I feel that he's more busy complaining to the ref in more than one occasion. Every time he's given something, he's always flailing his arms. He 
needs to play better football than what he has done so far in the opening 33 minutes for Gokulam Kerala. However, he does get a corner out of it. And another chance for Gokulam Kerala with Edupedia taking the ball and heading to the corner, signaling something of the training grounds to his players. And you can see how close all these players are to Shubhashish Rai Chaudhary at the moment. Everything that has happened in the last five minutes, I'm waiting on a bicycle goal. <laughs> and the ball comes in and seems like a trip. Something that probably the referee didn't quite notice. I wouldn't put it past Indubedia to try and call it into the goal himself on that occasion. Gokulam coach trying to urge his players on and be aware of the tactical bits that they spoke about. Ricardo once again puts it forward. Dishiara and that battle again. Dishiara versus Buba Aminu. As Martin slides into the central defender. And there you see this time he gives it back to Martin. Salam Ranjan Singh. That was, that, was, that was quite a battle, wasn't it? Martin lunging into Salam Ranjan Singh. And when the ball came out to Martin, Salam Ranjan Singh gave it back to him. It, it, it's a good battle out there. Martin versus Salam Ranjan and Aminu Buba versus Dichiara. Quite a physical battle as Gogu prepares to take this throw in. And one of those moments that I saw there with that quick throw in direction, Martin, and this is something again that I try to tell my players so many times. Ricardo was still complaining to the referee already. Martin was already in the corner. And even if he would have passed with that triple, there would have been no one in the box. Keep your focus on the game. And only when the ball is out, go and complain to the referees. Absolutely, and, and, and that's something that and is a very, very good lesson forward for the youngsters that there's nothing that you can do with the referee's decision. Just got to play on. And that's something in world football that we see that is so, so sad to see sometimes. And, and once again, I've been very impressed with a certain Premier League coach who said that we can't do many things about a decision. And... We just got to keep playing on. It's one of the things indeed you, you try to bring forward direction your players and you try to do. But as we all know, football is emotion, football is passion and it's not always that easy. But these kind of moments you need to be able to turn around immediately. And I'm not saying you can't complain to the referee because I do it myself also. But there are moments that you need to put the complaining away. And you need to get into your box first. Try to score that goal. Try to create that opportunity. And when the ball is out, then you've got a small time to go to the referee, ask him why or what. And then it's a different story. But these are the moments, especially in a match like this, where we've seen the ball going up and down, that you need to finish your opportunities. Martin swings the free kick in. And this could be a chance, is it? Yes, it is. I think the goalkeeper is holding his face but I think it is a major mistake by him as Ricardo is probably the one who bundles it home from that free kick. That was certainly a stinging free kick from the Uruguayan Martin but it was something that probably Devan Stabas should have handled better as this comes out and there you see that's that is absolutely a horrendous mistake by Devanj Tabas and who was there celebrating the goals with the players was Miranda Garcia who has been an ex-fitness coach for Gokulam Kerala and he enjoyed it the most. And he's been a physical coach at United Sports Club. So also the link here with me. Um, fantastic guy. 
helps a lot of players outside of his hours. This is, I can say something about him. He really does. He helps a lot of players, even players that he doesn't know. Fantastic person who's been doing so much for Indian football. Um, but here, indeed, we saw a mistake of the goalkeeper. They cannot say that he had the ball in his hands because he didn't. The ball was between his hand and the floor, which is one hand. He didn't have it between two hands. So the rule states there that the ball is still in play. And that, at the end, is what happened. And it was good following of the Churchill brothers. And it was not good defending of Gokulam there because they should have blocked that. Um, and now we see indeed that there is maybe a little bit of an injury that happened on his ankle. The right ankle, if I'm seeing that. Or the, is it the left one here? Because they're taking out both shoes. So something must have happened indeed, which makes it worse because they would not drive on the ambulance. Maybe the knee he has hit his, his head during that action. It's a possibility. But I don't think it was on purpose. You want to go for the ball. Um, so let us see and let us think about the goalkeeper that it's not too bad. It's never good to see an ambulance or a stretcher rushing on to a football pitch and at this point in time we can just hope and pray that everything is all right with Devansh Tabas. As the crowd waits on with bated breath we can only hope what that Devansh Tabas is at least in decent condition and these are just precautionary measures for the player these are not pleasant sights at the moment in the EMS Stadium Cozy Cord as we await some news on Devansh Tabas. Let us indeed hope uh, that it is not too bad because these are not the moments that we want to see on a football pitch. Whoever player, what doesn't matter. These are moments that we think about him and about his family. And we hope that he's fine to be back on the pitch very soon. But this will play in the mind of uh, of the Gokulam players, guarantee. Um, I've seen this happen as coach. I've seen this happen as a player. And these are moments that go into your mind um, because you don't want to see your teammates, your friends like this. Um, we still don't really know what exactly happened, but yeah, I think I think it's just not the Gokulam carriers. I think both sets of players will be a little affected at this point in time, and. We can only hope that Devan Shtabas hasn't got a real serious injury and that he is certainly going to be fine. And these are, again, just like I said before, are just precautionary measures that are being taken here. As we await some news on Devan Shtabas. not pleasant signs like we said but what is also very very good to see that we've had adequate medical facilities which came in very very quickly at hand and they didn't waste any time whatsoever to get that ambulance in at the Cozy Coast Stadium and that is certainly a good sign to see and 
that's something in the previous years that we didn't see a lot. At least the smiles on some of the players suggest that it's not very, very bad for Devan Shtabas. At least we hope so. And Avilash is coming on for Devan Shtabas, the former Mohan Bagan, a goalkeeper who is part of the ISL team, finally has parted ways. It's not played many games for Mohan Bagan, but his time has come to come onto the main stage and perform at a good level. Let us hope that during the match we get to hear something from maybe from the side of Gokulam, maybe from the coach's side or from uh, management side to see exactly what is happening and if there is news coming that we can tell with you guys what is happening indeed. Absolutely, but on that occasion we certainly saw a flailing elbow from Ponif on to Alex Sanchez and it was something that even I noticed and then there's nothing and that the Churchill Brothers players should complain about because it was a very, very evident elbow on the face of Alex Sanchez and he's lucky that he's not gotten a yellow card here. It was very blatant to see it even. I don't understand that no yellow card even took a little bit of a time to blow the whistle. Um, worst case scenario could have been a red card also. And then the game was completely different. But let us see where this cross is going to end up. And that should have been a header for Buba, which completely went next to the ball. But with his side, his length, perfect assist from Edu Bedia there. But I think that Buba just went look next to the ball. What a beautifully floated ball that was from Edu Bedia. But I'll take you moments back into that elbow from Ponif on Alex Sanchez. He was an example for youngsters as well because what Alex Sanchez did was beautiful to see. He didn't react at all. Normally players would go irate on, that, on those occasions and re to re retaliate rather and maybe get a red card themselves but he just kept his calm on that occasion and just got down with his business. Just shows the class of the striker and the temperament that he has. And as we speak about it, there is nine minutes of additional time at the end of the regulation, 45 minutes of which one minute already has been played. Churchill brothers are leading Gokulam Kerala for the first time in the history of their head-to-heads. So this certainly is a new dawn for Churchill brothers and they would look to continue the good work that they have done so far in the opening 45 minutes and they would look to go into that first half lemon break with this lead very much intact and you see that in these couple of minutes right now that there is still a little bit of a shock in the Gokulam Kerala players because they're not bringing that tempo and that's a second opportunity here for Martin, good cross from the right side, came in front and suddenly they put it up as a offside, which I don't think it was, but he was claiming a penalty. And what an important match this is in terms of where this league is headed to because Churchill Brothers, if they can put it across the Malabarians in this match, they will certainly make their claim that they are in the championship run as well because they will move one step ahead of Gokulam Kerala on the table as well up into that fourth position above Gokulam Kerala so after a not so bright start in the I League Churchill brothers have certainly made or rather taking huge steps forward 
in this year's league so far as the referee's whistle has gone once again as a Churchill Brothers player is down on the ground. Four fouls each from both Gokulam Kerala and Churchill Brothers. And Shubhashish Rai Chaudhary steps forward to take this free kick. And if the game keeps going like that, they still have Justin on the bench. Very quick striker winger that they can use. Very technical also. Um, so they still, of course, they got some other players also. But uh, seen him play a couple of times. He's impressive when he comes on. He's not always getting the minutes that he deserves in my eyes. But he could be someone to put a fire in again in Gokram because we've seen at the moment after the accident that happened, the uh, fire inside the team is a little bit gone, which is, like I said, it will play in the minds of the, of the players. They will have to go inside at halftime, regroup again, put everything, put all the energy together and come back for another 45 minutes at a high tempo. But first, close down this first half, forget everything, even if you can't really, but you will have to as a player because there's another 45 minutes upcoming. A very 40, important 45 minutes ahead for both these teams in going into the second half as well. And Edu Bedia, like you said, has been tactically shut down so far in this game. We've not seen much of the class that Edu Bedia possesses as Avilash collects that with ease and plays it down the right-hand side to Vikas. It's something that I've been saying uh, in our commentary box here for the last couple of matches of Gokulam. You need to get Edu Badia outside the game. And most of the teams gave him the freedom to play wherever he wanted. And at this point, the tactical plan of the Argentinian coach of Churchill Brothers is working. And just because Edu Badia is not working, Alex Sanchez seems to be not working, but that's a beautiful cross in from the left hand side. Kokulam just has that quality and that they can produce any time, any moment, just when it seems to be not working for them. That again was a quality cross in, just evading the head of Alex Sanchez once again. Richard Brothers need to be a little careful as another long throw in from Vikas is bundled in and this time almost gets to the head of a fellow Gokulam player. Nedubedia puts it up once again but this time straight into the hands of Shubhashish Roy Chaudhary. But what a throw in once again. Each of those throw ins have landed on a Gokulam head and this time almost ends on the back of the net. That's indeed the biggest problem. It hasn't handed inside the net but it's been dangerous over and over again. And there will be a moment that the header goes on the right point at the right moment. And it will be dangerous. You see the little pushes being done over there between Martin and his direct defender. Uh, but as I was saying, one of these throw wins will come at a very dangerous moment. And it will be a moment where the goalkeeper will have to be ready. That was some neat work down the right hand side from Stanley who finds Martin who tries to take on Sahif but Sahif as well and this is Perdomo who has been shoved off the ball and is that a card in the take yes it is and that too for Nili Perdomo who is not happy so frustration creeping into those Gokulam players which leads to that and, and that was an immediate reaction for that. And that's exactly what Alex Sanchez goes and tells Nili Perdomo, that we have to stay calm in these situations. He is the leader of the pack amongst the Malabarians and he was not happy with what Nili Perdomo did himself. And it, 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 that's, that's the quality of a leader, Alex Sanchez. And I've been very impressed with the way he's conducting and talking to his players about it. 
And it's something that you saw literally happening. He got a little push, ref didn't blow, ran after the guy, not to get the ball, but to hit him. It was not that bad of a hit either, but you saw that he was going to go for the foul. And at the end, he deserved the yellow card there. But indeed, like you say, these are the moments you need to be smart. These are the moments that you need to think. This could put my team in even more trouble than they are already. But uh, he still went for it. So at the end, he's another player with a yellow card. And now, right on the cusp of half time, this is another free kick for Churchill Brothers and it is going to be Martin who takes it this time not stinging the hands of the goalkeeper as it blazes over Avilash's goal post not the best of free kicks from the captain as the referee brings an end to this chaotic first half that has unfolded here at the EMS Stadium Cozy Court your hope that Devanj Tabas is well and fine but as you can see the news from the center Churchill brothers for the first time in the history of their head-to-heads with Gokulam Kerala go into a half-time lead of one goal to nil thanks to a Ricardo Costa goal that had been bundled over from a Martin Chavez free kick which stung the hands, hands of Devan Tabas. As you see, 53% possession of Gokulam Kerala FC Churchill Brothers with 47. But nine shots out of which five have been on target from Churchill Brothers. After the initial 15 minutes, it has certainly been Churchill Brothers who have been doing the talking on the pitch. Eight shots taken by Gokulam Kerala, Alex Sanchez with three, Abhiji, Tamino, Buba, Basit, Ranjan, Salam, Ranjan and Shrikuttan VS with one each. Nine shots taken by Churchill Brothers, Dishiara with four of them, Martin and Sebastian Zo with two each and Ricardo Costa with that sole goal that he scored off the rebound. Six fouls considered by Gokulam Kerala, Bijit and Edu Bedia with two each, Alex Sanchez and Salam Hunjan with one each. Conceded by Gokul and Kerala. Abhijit and Adubedia with two each. Alex Sanchez and Salam Ranjan with one each. Four fouls conceded by Churchill Brothers. Ralte with two. Kalegari and Ricardo Costa with one each. to the highlights of the first half and it started with Gokulam Kerala making inroads into the into the Churchill Brothers territory but it would be Dishiara who would be right on hand with Aminu Buba and Salam Ranu Singh with that effort it was an absolute thunderous one the beautiful save from Devansh Tabas and another corner from Edu Bedia. It was flailing. And then this was the goal and the unfortunate incident which led to Devan Stabas being carried out in an ambulance. But that also led to that goal for Churchill Brothers and the news from the center at the EMS Stadium Cozy Code. It is Churchill Brothers 1, Gokulam Kerala 0. 
we will be back in what is going to be a very very interesting second half
And we're back for the second half as we see a string of substitutions made by Gokulam Kerala. And we'll wait for the confirmation of who goes in for whom. But Gokulam very, very adamant in making a comeback in this encounter. Churchill brothers have tactically outplayed them so far and they would look to continue to do the same thing in the second half as we get underway for the second half at the EMS Stadium. Edupedia immediately launches it forward. No foul given. Ball kept in play. And Abhijit K to Vikas. Sabhijit. Vikas once again. He has shifted onto the left hand side. Aminu Buba immediately under pressure from Dishiara. Salam Ranjit Singh moves forward. It's Nidhin Krishna who has come down on the right hand side. And I think it's Sahif is one of the players who's gone off. That's why Vikas shifts onto the left back position and Nidhin Krishna shifts into the right back position. Rashad is the other man also who has come in. Rashad is certainly a very, very explosive youngster who has a knack of scoring goals. It was interesting that he didn't quite start the game, but It'll be interesting how Gokulam use him to try and press the Churchill Brothers defenders. What we saw very quickly in the first minute already, or it looks like it, that Eddie Badia is playing closer to his striker um, and that they've switched the triangle in the middle a little bit to get an overload. Um, but let us see if he keeps playing on that higher position or he drops back because now he's back in on his sixth position. But a minute ago he was playing just behind Alexis Sanchez. Shri Kutan. As we were seeing that Nufal has come in and Nili Perdomo has been taken out. And that's a very interesting change from the coach. The Spaniard Nili Perdomo has been taken out. I think Nili Perdomo wasn't quite performing as well. He was frustrated in patches like we saw. And he was on a yellow card. He didn't want, the coach didn't want to take any risks whatsoever. Dishiara, he's, he's certainly troubling those centre-backs. He's, he's trying to push and shove. He's trying to be there at the present. And now that's a three could turn down the right hand side. Shri Kutan once again loses out on education. A very animated Churchill Brothers coach on the touchline though. It, it, it's very interesting to see that, really. Because you can see the passion that the Argentinian has and he's trying hard with this Churchill Brothers side to get back the glory days for the Red Machines. And this is Gogu. further 
further towards the 90 minutes, Churchill brothers will look to have more open spaces behind the Gokula defense as Amin Buba tries to play that through. And that will away to nothing as Shubhishi Shrai Chaudhary will pick that up with ease. And Alex Sanchez hasn't been quite the threat that he can be. And there's the substitution confirmation that Rashad has come in in place of Basit, who again was had had a, had a very disappointing evening, Basit Ahmed. Rashad is more of a dynamic player, tries to take on players, has that knack of scoring goals like you mentioned, Avilash Paul looking for options. Trying to put a little bit of pressure outside the wings, and I have a feeling that at a certain point we're going to see Buba step by step moving up a little bit, and it also means that there will be more space for Ricardo to come into these free open spaces. Kauker, this is Martin now, on the ball, Gogu, he loves going on those overlapping runs, shows off a few but not the best of crosses in, this is Martin, into the box, almost pinballing against the defenders on that occasion, now this is a beautiful run isn't it, that's an incredible turn of pace from Nufal, but what did he do in the end, and that has been the problem. But that was fury pace down the left hand side really. Suddenly there was an explosion on the left wing of Gokula Kerala. And it was his opponent Sebastian Blue who just couldn't follow. Suddenly he was five, six, seven meters before. But then as you were mentioning also, it's not what you do halfway to reach. It's what you do in the final turns. And again that was just not good enough. And it's those moments where you see that they are trying and they are trying to move forward. They're trying to organize themselves a little bit more attacking. But it's all just not good enough. And maybe we'll be throwing here right now. Again, a little bit of an opportunity. They were trying to look for Kuba to have a ball. And with that maybe deflection, he's still up front. Like I predicted, there will be moments that Buba will stay up front. Or maybe these setters is very dangerous in those. He scored in the past quite a few goals. And step by step, in the next 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you will start seeing him moving forward. Be careful for Ricardo. He's now free and he doesn't have that one-on-one. -on -one. There's certainly a sense of urgency in these Gokulam players right now because they know that if they can't put this part Churchill Brothers today, the gap at the top, like you had mentioned a little earlier, just keeps increasing and just looks a little further away the championship. And do not forget the winners of the I-League and its promotion into the Indian Super League. Yeah, indeed, at the moment, as you said before, Churchill Brothers would already take the position of Gokulam. Gokulam would drop down to fifth, and they would already be six points behind Trinity Deacon and Mohamedan. Um, and not forgetting that even at that point, Trinity has a match more, okay? They still have a match in hand, but six points start becoming a little bit of a problem. And, and, and they've got such a team on paper that not winning the I-League is, is something that, that winning the I-League is something that they definitely set out to do when they formed the team right at the beginning of the season. They're a high-budget team and, and the only goal 
and it's, it's a little unfortunate that, that this can come up because the two years in a row that they did win the I League, the promotion to the Indian Super League started next season. And guess what? Round Blast Punjab benefited from that. They won the league last season and they are playing in the Indian Super League and are trying to adapt to the higher standards of the Indian Super League as well. Part of the game, you need to be ready at the right time to win a league at the exact perfect moment. And right now, indeed, those two titles, no one can take them away, as no one can take away the titles that Churchill Brothers or the titles that teams like Dempo has had. But you need to win it at the right time. And right now, Gokram, as you just said, is a high quality team, has one of the Biggest players, I think, in this division with Edo Bedia. All the experience that he has from ISL, the way he played over there. But at the moment, they are struggling a little bit. Last match, they couldn't win. Now they are losing at the moment. Um, and it's these small periods, as I said again, in a small competition, that will go against you because there are not that many matches at the end. And it's not you can come back and think, okay, we are now playing match 6 of 40. Okay, I got another 34 matches to go, a lot of points, like it is in the Premier League, like it is in the big competition. Here you don't have that opportunity. Competition is finished, but now already there's an opportunity. Defending from Churchill Brothers, and a second shot, and we go. That was... Smart play down the right hand side though. And the shot is eventually coming in. This is over the bar. Finding many spaces in that Turkey Brothers box now. And that was Rashad behind that effort. This is where I told you it would be a happy time to see that sitting over the post. Very interesting to see that two Bengal goalkeepers guarding the posts of two teams not from Bengal. Shubhashish Roy Chaudhary at the helm of the Churchill Brothers goal and Abhilash Paul, the other manning the Gokulam Kerala post. So Bengal connection here at the MS Stadium Cozy Court. Sebastian Zo takes this free kick. Churchill Brothers very happy to allow Gokulam Kerala to have the ball and they're holding their horses, they're, they've looked way more organized after the opening 15 minutes or so. They've got more control of that midfield now that they've settled down with Ricardo Costa running that midfield in those defensive positions and Dishiara and Martin Chavez creating trouble up front. And like you said, Aminu Buba is more of a attacking threat right now. He's always looking to go forward and trying to get back as his teammates hold off the players as Dishiara has been pulled down. Gokulam Kerala looking to pull their way back into this match. But so far, Churchill brothers have done an exquisite job of holding the Malabarians off. And it's been two big duels that we've been seeing today during the game. That's Buba against Ricardo and that's Stanley against Edu Bedia. and at this point it is Churchill Brothers who is winning the dual power but there is still just over 30 minutes to go and I'm convinced that Gokulam will still create some opportunities but Churchill Brothers is keeping that pressure up is keeping that momentum up right now and we will have to see something different within the team of Kokulam Kerala for them to change what is happening at the moment. 
and yet another long throw in on the way this time from Kogu. Some discussions going on with the ref and I think it's Dishiara who's not very happy with the challenges coming into him. No, it was Martin. It was Martin who was getting pushed in the meantime. Um, in a one-on-one -on -one duel with uh, Obijit. Obijit who wanted to let him fear who's boss. So that will happen regularly. And it's something which is quite normal. You try to get into the mind of a player. Um, and you try to win your duels like that without really making a bad foul. But it will play in the mind of some players. It's been quite a physical game as well. Like you had mentioned that there will be small battles to win at uh, the centre of the park. And, and with players like Dishiara and Buba Aminu, they've certainly got it very physical in the game. Oh, that didn't look like a legitimate throw, did it, Steve? No, but what I was looking at, I didn't really look at the throw. I was more looking at the small picture where you saw Edu Bedia running and immediately Stanley following the whole time. It's one of those moments that I said, it's a duel within the match. It's a war within the match, which at the moment Stanley is winning. Um, and he's taking Edu Bedia outside the game. It's one of the first games that I've seen in these I-League matches right now, where a player and a team is really taking the responsibility of taking Edu Bedia out. And right now they are doing this very carefully and very good. And you mentioned this right at the start of the game that the Argentinian coach had put, like it looked like he had put Stanley on the job to get Edu Bedia out of the game. And he's done a stupendous job so far of like whenever they don't have the ball and we stress on the importance of off the ball work rate and Stanley has put in a real, real shift in here today. Yeah, these are the end things that we do for, for our job and, and we look at these kind of matches, try to figure out certain movements, certain tactical plans very quickly. Um, it's not always that easy, it's not always opportunities that you can see, but you see immediately certain running lines, certain tactical guidance from the coaches and as I thought, indeed, they put Stanley on him. He's doing that very good, very strongly the whole game already. But uh, I'm sure that Edu Bidia at a certain point will have one or two opportunities to give to his teammates. And those are the moments that Churchill brothers need to stop him. Because that can be a goal or an opportunity for Gokulam. This Gokulam team certainly looks a team without ideas at the moment because... They just don't seem to get themselves together. And Churchill Brothers, on the other hand, seem to have a lot going for them at the moment, especially with that clearance from Aminu Buba as this ball comes in. Vikas with the header, Gogu right behind him, shadowing as he will look to put this cross in. He does, and it was a dangerous one, but no one at the end of it. Avilash Paul collects it with ease. But like I said, that they seem to be a little running out of ideas because they're not getting behind this Churchill defense or the midfield at the moment. You speak about breaking lines. Nothing seems to be happening at the moment from Rogoku and Kerala. Uh, normally the person who does this most of the time in the match is at Ubidia. And if you are depending on one player the whole time and the other team can finally, after six matches, the team has found how to get him out of the game, that means that your team is going to struggle. You cannot be depending on just one player. And I've been saying this for the last couple of matches when I when I was commenting here for Gokran Kerala. Every danger came from his feet. And right now they're not finding him. And once again, who was the man who got that interception? It was Stanley. But what is very very good to see here and we mentioned this in the beginning of the match that Churchill Brothers we get back to that because this is Gokulam Kerala Shri Kutan he can change the match in his head this is a chance this is a beautiful effort but 
in the end, Edu Bedia was the one taking the shot. That's the furthest up on the pitch that we've seen Edu Bedia so far in this encounter. Have a look at this. Here he is, right on top of the D-Box. But he was unlucky on his right foot. And it's something that we've seen already inside this match. So dangerous with his left foot. And incredibly enough for Gokulam Kerala, this one came on his right foot. And the ball was not perfectly put. But the action was very good, was very dangerous. Lay off. He came indeed on a free position and he felt immediately that there was something. This could go further now. Outside. So you feel when you get that free space a little bit. And he did a run from outside of the position in the back of uh, Stanley. Suddenly he gets on that position and he's a sense of danger. Like I said, this was chance one. I'm sure there's going to be another one. And that can be a problem if he could have ended up on the And it looks like the set pieces seem to be the best answer for Gokulam Kerala to find the goal here to get back into this match. And like I was saying, these Churchill brothers players seem to have a pinch on their shoulder today because they've never beat Gokulam Kerala like you mentioned before and they are playing with their hearts out as if they are wearing their heart on their sleeves today because they are throwing their bodies on the line. They are not letting anything get past them. It's like they've been a team possessed today because they want to keep the clean sheet, they want to give a fight and they want to have their past glory back in this season as well. It's been a long time since we've seen a Goan team and especially Churchill Brothers win an I-League. It was, they, were a, they were certainly a team to contend with, with the likes of Okuli Odafa. Uh, back in 2008, 2009, 2012, 2013, they were almost untouchable in those times and they would like to have them back as this is a beautiful play down the left side. This is a chance! Oh! That was not far away! And you can see from the reaction, that was a very, very smart effort, wasn't it? He cuts it, shifts it on his right, he tries to curl it into the top corner. Shubhachi Shroy Chaudhary was hoping that it would go out. And it looks like it was Christy Davis who was the man who got on the end of it. But what an effort that is. That, that, that is the smartness and cleverness that you would require from this Gokulam side to get back in. But on the other side, again, from a tactical viewpoint, Alexis Sanchez was completely alone in the penalty point. Maybe a pass there onto the top scorer would have made a difference. Of course, the shot was fantastic. Great team, great lock. And we see some moments here of pushing and fighting in the meantime between the two teams. It's very funny to see the Churchill brothers coach trying to separate the players at the same time having a go at the referee to show a card to the opponents. It's just, it's just a beautiful animation of, of the Argentinian coach right now. It just shows the passion and it just shows what it means to these Churchill brothers players today in this match against Gokulam Kerala. There is a lot of passion in that country. If you ever have the opportunity to go to one of the big derbies over there, you will see what kind of passion is being played in that country. But he comes from there, this is what he's giving to his players. And at the end, as you said, it's that little extra touch right now that Churchill Brothers is playing and the way they are keeping going in this match, and that could end up in giving them the three points. Casting well to evade the first challenge on the location. Steps in in the area. Shot plays it forward. Beautifully played ball forward there. Is this new foul? Where was that cross in from new foul? This is Gogu. No 
Thomas making those step overs a traditional one, but he runs into trouble. Taking too much time on the ball. And this is Sri Kutan once again. Sri Kutan. Who had that beautiful effort a few minutes back, but probably led him to be a little overconfident on that occasion. And in the end, he gave that ball away. And Amir Obuba has been brought down. First action is wonderful. He runs away from his defender. Defender can't follow him at all. Gets to the final turn where it matters. And it is. Music is getting louder here. The dancing is getting more rampant in the stands. Trying to urge these coconut players on. And can they get a goal back? Alexis Sanchez! And that is a penalty! I wonder for what! But suddenly, the Georgian brothers players are asking for the video assistant, the referee, to come into play. But my word, for a moment, it looked like a save for the ages. But it was not a save from Shubhashish Roy Chaudhary. But it was a Churchill Brothers player who got either their hand or the body in line. But for the referee, it seemed to be the hand of a Churchill Brothers player. And he was right on hand to see that at the best. Alexis Sanchez took a thunderous shot. And there seems to be no complaint from Shubhashi Roy Chaudhary much, which probably, who probably had the best seat that which goes to also show that probably the referee Suresh Devraj has got this one right. Was there ever a doubt, Steve? Alex Sanchez with the penalty. Was there ever a doubt that he would score the ninth goal once the penalty was given? There's always a doubt, huh? You can never know if he really finishes that shot. But the corner side is the penalty are the most difficult ones. Uh, finish it. Ninth goal of the season already after only six matches and after a drought of I think the last one or two matches he didn't score. So right now he's there. Quality penalty inside the side netting and goal 1-1. One, one. Shubhish is right Chaudhry is well known for his penalty heroics. But there was nothing that he could do to save that penalty from Alex Sanchez. And he has absolutely upped the ante in the stands here with that goal. His crowd has gone ballistic and the music has gotten louder. The dancing is even more rampant as Gokulam Kerala now will search for that winner as Churchill Brothers try and curb this onslaught right now from the Malabarians. This is good play. And once again, the free kick goes against Gokulam on that occasion. Nidin Krishna with a push on the back. And Shubhashish Rai Chaudhary will try and calm things down and slow things down for Churchill Brothers. A point here for both the teams. I don't think that's something that they would be very happy with. Both the teams 
will be looking for the full three points. Gokulam Kerala to key, stay in touch with Srini Vitekin and Mohammedan Sporting Churchill Brothers to keep their title aspirations alive. But for us, of course, it will be a very exciting last 15 minutes. With another opportunity on a free kick already. Two Spanish players, speaking players next to each other, discussing with each other about yellow cards. And that's going to be the rest of the game like this. And then I ask myself, does the referee understand anything that they're saying against each other? <laughs> or are they speaking in English right now? I think he lets his cards do the talking, doesn't he? <laughs> But this was that kind of range where Martin Chavez took that last free kick. He stung the hands of the goalkeeper Devan Stabas, who spilled it. And it was Ricardo Costa following it up. Can the Uruguayan do one more wondrous effort here for his team? This is Martin. Martin with the effort! I don't think... There was much that Avilash Paul knew about that. He just got his hand and it went the other side. I've never seen a save like that in my life. Just look at that. It was almost like a volleyball that he hit it. But here's another corner from Churchill Brothers. On the pressure. Churchill Brothers upping the ante here. What was that effort? Alexis Sanchez. Closing it down, Trubishi Shrai Chaudhary doing well. Now Vikas winning that throw in. But that once again, Martin Chavez from that sort of area with a dangerous free kick once again. But Avilash Paul with a very uncanny style gets the save in more importantly. But did you see where it all started with a wall that was still open a little bit? And for Martin, who sees the same thing there, he would have thought, I have to kick it in between those two players, which he exactly did, with a ball that drops down very quickly. And goalkeeper was lucky to be able to punch that ball away on the floor. Also very interestingly, my first observation from that was, it was just a three-man wall from that sort of range. It was a little surprising to see the least because... Martin Chavez has certainly got a thunderous shot on his right foot. Yes, but you of course also saw how many big bodies were inside the box of Churchill Brothers. So Absolutely. as a goalkeeper there, you need to make decisions. And I can understand the ball is a little bit further on the left-hand side, outside the box. You make a decision there, you got a little bit of a hit in that one-on-one -on -one action. Um, as a goalkeeper there, you make a little bit of a decision. Do I put my focus? We'll see it here. The first touch is not great. And then I think it's a little bit of a slight contact. Not too bad either. But as I was saying on that wall, these are decisions you need to make there. You need to think about what is exactly happening. And you made a decision of taking three players. Because there's a lot of big, big bodies in uh, in the box, <coughs> and now there is discussion going on in who's the ball for. Now, as you see, there's the Nigerian Louis Sogana, who has played his trade for Shunidi Tekken Football Club, is getting ready to come on. I wonder in whose place. I think it's for Ricardo. Yeah, it's for Ricardo. So, what I think is they're going to use the speed of Ogana, where o Ricardo is a little bit more of the target man. Ogana has a has a lot of speed up front. He's, he's, he's quite a good technician there also, but it's a different type of player than Ricardo. Absolutely, and then Bishiara goes off with Luis Sogana coming in. So number 9 goes off, number 99 comes in for Churchill Brothers. 
Will that make a difference? Time will tell as we head into the last 10 minutes of what has been a very, very interesting encounter. And as you see, the pace straight away coming into the fore. Luis Ogana showing some power! What a power! That effort from Luis Ogana! Avilash Paul once again. I don't think he knew much about that. He was just standing in the right position at the right time. He just bundles that ball away. Almost like a volleyball player again. Churchill brothers making the right call so far. They'll be very unhappy and again there is another tussle. This time Ricardo Costa and Edu Bedia. Edu Bedia is not happy with the referee. He's flirting with danger on that occasion. He's flirting with danger. He might get a yellow card for indiscipline very, very soon. Is it frustration creeping in? I think partially it's frustration indeed, but I think he's also correct because I had an idea that the fall was on, on him. So of course you're going to tell the referee, why are you giving the fall to the other team right now? Why are you doing this? And he as a leader will talk, but he needs to be lucky and we got another shot there coming up. Which is a little bit of a wasted of an opportunity. That was a close, close shape, wasn't it? Sebastian So with a slip at a crucial time, but just made it in time with a lunging tackle on Alex Sanchez. And the crowd very, very excited just for a moment. Sebastian So once again. Gokulam Kerala. Nidhin Krishna takes the throw in. Salam Ranjan takes it forward in no man's land. Has been taken up. Very, very poor effort. Now has been taken. Anil Gauker tries to play in. Martin Chavez was through on goal. And it is a yellow card. It seems like it could have been a one-on-one -on -one situation with the goalkeeper. Oh my word. The referee has been clearly put under so much pressure I have to say this that's got to be a red card Steve this is a second controversial for me first one is on the penalty first one is on the penalty the rules are clear you save it as a player with your hand normally it is a red card because apparently it was a shot at goal second part this one is a one-on-one -on -one action you are gone already. There is no more defender behind him. There is a defender on the right side. Yes, I agree. But there was no one behind him anymore. This is another controversial moment for me. This is absolutely a red card. I cannot agree on this of being a yellow card. Maybe it's just the way we are thinking. But Martin was gone. You pull him down. He's the last man. This should be a red card also. And then you're playing 10v10. That certainly looked extremely blatant on that occasion. But my word, Martin Chavez is not happy at all. And I wonder who gets a yellow card on the sideline now. I think it's one of the assistant coaches in what I saw quickly. Most probably he will have said something that the referee understood. Or at least the fourth referee understood. Martin Chavez now is behind this free kick once again and this time Avilash Paul chooses a four-man wall. The distance is way further but Martin Chavez has what it takes to score from here. He takes it on but hits the wall. Very venomous effort which goes into the wall but Anil Gaukar picks up the spoils. Sebastian So with the ball up front and Aminu Buba with the towering header. Seems to be another substitution. It's Justin Emmanuel, the Nigerian, who is coming on. And it's Edu Bedia who 
who has been taken off by Domingo Oramas. They're going to play the 442 with the Alexis Sanchez and with Justin up front most for me. With the speed like I was talking about before. He has speed, he has that dribble, he has opportunities. He's not been able to show that much yet because most of the times he comes on as a substitution. But he's a very, very dangerous player in these last five, six minutes. And he will get one or two opportunities. Churchill Brothers needs to be very aware of this uh, player. That's a great tackle in there for the cast to win the ball back. And the challenges are coming in. And the tempers will be a little flared with those decisions that have been going in from the ref, the ball comes in. I wonder what Shubhashish Roy Chaudhary was thinking on that occasion. Again, a little funny football going on in there, in the Churchill <laughs> Brothers box this time around. Yeah, we've been talking about this on, uh, on goalkeepers and it's been both sides where goalkeepers have made uh, certain mistakes here. Um, and, and it is playing against them and against their team. And it's Martin against Trishad. And Ruguin plays in a good ball. Louis Ogana keeps hold of the ball, but Aminu Buba stands his ground beautifully against the Nigerian. Martin, not many players in the box. Martin tries to take it himself, takes the shot on! Ooh! That yeah, was a close shave because Avilash Paul certainly had a moment of scare because that ball certainly just about probably was not going towards inside of the goal but he fumbled on that. He did. And got it on the second attempt nonetheless. Danger reverted. But that was a venomous shot once again by Martin Chavez. Yes, we power is and it's these shots at goal, you can't give him these opportunities, but Gokul and Keralea lets him do it time and time again, and they have another opportunity here. And here's the man again, the captain, getting on the ball, this time to chooses to cross in, what is the goalkeeper doing, Avilash, Paul has spilled the ball once again. I don't think he's come to hold the ball or catch the ball. He's just palming them. He's almost like playing volleyball out there or with the football. At this point, as a coach, Steve, what would you be doing or telling your goalkeeper who has been fumbling up the balls on that occasion? He's not had much game time in his playing career for many years at ATK Mohun Bagan and then Mohun Bagan Supergiant. He's made the switch to Gokulam Kerala. He's got his opportunity now after that injury to Devan Stabas. But this kind of a display won't give you much confidence. No, if, uh, if he would be in my team indeed, you're looking at this, okay, you can have in the back of your mind, he hasn't played much. I agree on that part. But a goalkeeper of this standard should be able to do better after one mistake. One mistake can always happen. No problem on that part. But this is now three, four mistakes within the game. And it's going to play in his mind. It's the same for his defenders. They're going to start thinking we can't trust what he's doing. And that is never good within a team. Here's a chance now as Mikas gives away a throw. This is Luis Ogana against Aminu Buba. That again is, is a great battle out there. Luis Ogana tries to play in Martin Chavez, but it doesn't quite happen. But how impressive has been Ricardo Costa of Churchill Brothers. He's held his own. He's marshaled that midfield against the likes of Edu Bedia, Baldomo, and in the presence of players like Luis Ogana, Martin Chavez, De Chiara, I think Ricardo Costa is certainly a player that has shown out today in the Churchill Brothers colours. Now it's a substitute for Gokulam Kerala. Justin. It's a good turn. Shad. And I don't think my fellow commentator will be very happy with that effort. 
That was a wasted opportunity completely, having Justin on the side and one of the other players that was completely open on the right, bring that ball back in, push the ball, direction the box, maybe Justin, and then he could have crossed it forward. These are opportunities in the last couple of minutes where at the end, this is, this is the wrong choice. You need to keep having the view in front of you. You need to keep thinking what is the better opportunities. But as we've seen in the first half with Ricardo, he was doing the same thing. Um, he was shooting from everywhere. But you were talking about Ricardo Costa. Um, he's a box-to-box -box player, working a lot for the team, running in between these gaps, trying to cover together with... Uh, to close down on Edu Bedia in the meantime. And he's played a wonderful game today. Seven minutes of additional time has been shown by the fourth official. Seven minutes for either of these teams to break each other's hearts right at the death. Seven minutes is enough to see at least two or three more goals in a dramatic encounter and these are such encounters which could throw up the most dramatic of late goals as Churchill brothers have a player down on the ground. They've taken the fight to Church, uh, Gokulam Kerala today. Churchill brothers. But if the result stays the same, they will still not have a victory over Gokulam Kerala. see the Churchill brothers coach marshalling his troops trying to keep the concentration levels high as we head into the final few minutes as Ricardo Costa is the man who will come off and it's going to be Leslie Ribello the man who's going to come on for Churchill brothers Not taking any risks with the fitness of Ricardo Costa. Edgardo Raul as he sends on Leslie for the final few minutes of this encounter. Sebastian Zo to take this free kick. Launches it forward. Martin he gets the corner, does he? No, it's given as a goal kick. And Vilash Paul plays it quickly to Vikas. Vikas plays it down. It's a beautiful ball forward. She could turn. Plays it forward. Alexis Sanchez was stepping in, but good defending in the end. My Churchill brothers as Pony steps in. Another header from Pony this time wins the free kick. Another problem was he was so quick. Direction that box that his teammates could not follow. The previous times he got to the box and didn't know what to do. Now he got to the box, was completely free and there was no one inside the box. So it's these moments indeed where you need to see what do you need to do as a player? Do you need to put down your tempo? Do you need to dribble further in the box? Maybe if he would have dribbled further in the box, there was a possibility for a second penalty. Kamino Buba with another towering header. Oh, it's a lunging tackle in. It's Luis Ogana. Tries to play in Leslie. This is Kogu. And he's not happy with that clearance. Salam Ranjan Singh. As he gives away... A corner and Churchill Brothers will push men forward here. The dying minutes of this game, the fourth corner for Churchill Brothers. They will look to take advantage of the set piece right now. Martin Chavez shifts it in. Uh, 
Louis Sogana having got his head to it you would expect the Nigerian to do much better than that wouldn't you he should be doing much better he should at the least be hitting the target one of the things we can talk in his advantage was there was a duel with his partner over there was pushed a little bit to the sides but he just didn't jump high enough to get that ball on his header properly and then the ball will always go up those moments you need to be in the air you need to be able to head that ball down was still barely on the tip of his toes so didn't even come from the floor you can't get that ball down Here's Shikutan. This is Rashad. Tries to cross it in, which is not such a bad one. We're looking for Justin. Well defended once again by Churchill Brothers. Sending Martin Chavez up front. Aminu Buba taking no risk whatsoever. Getting that ball out for a throw in. The match would end up in a draw, in a 1-1 draw here. Gokalam will stay on the fourth position after six matches with 11 points. And we would have Churchill Brothers on position seven after six matches with eight points. Like we mentioned before, both teams share the spoils and get a point each. None of them will be happy with the point that they get because it pushes them further back but it could change any moment with Alex Sanchez on the ball puts the cross in no one in the box to get on the end of it as that ball searching for a red t-shirt in the box but doesn't quite get it as the ball rolls out as we head into the last minute of this game and it looks like both these teams will be left disappointed at the end of this game with a point each there of course this is a ball from direction justin that we all know he's not really a header he's more of a speedy guy tried to run away from his defenders this is not a ball that is his strength these are the balls if he would get handled to him these are the kind of balls that is his power his strength but still alexis sanchez tried to bring that corner for a header of him this is not the right decision that he made and he should know his teammate better. Gokulam Kerala. Will they have one last opportunity and a crack at the Churchill Brothers goal? This is Justin. Well defended once again by Sebastian So. The ball has somehow kept in. Sri Kuttan has been bundled over. Now Churchill Brothers on the attack. This is Gauker. This is Louis Ogana. Leslie loses out. Now this is Lufal. She could turn Lufal once again. He's got a good turn of pace. Shifts it onto his right. Crosses it in. Not a bad one at all. Danger in the Gokulam box. And just about clears the ball. Anil Gauker. The time certainly has gone past but the referee plays on and Vikas is going to throw the kitchen sink into the Churchill Brothers box here and you can see Churchill uh, Gokulam Kerala pouring players forward at this point in time can they get a dramatic winner here it would send this crowd ballistic as the throw comes in this time the header has been met emphatically by the Churchill Brothers defense as the referee Suresh Devaraj gets this match to an end and it has lived up to its billing it has been a little chaotic in between it has been a little messy in between but nothing can take away from the moments of quality that were on display from time to time a few controversial refereeing decisions Steve but nonetheless an entertaining encounter absolutely entertaining you saw that the coaches were also not too happy towards each other but we as presentators here and the supporters at home especially the neutral supporters will have enjoyed 
you need to have some controversies inside the game. If you don't have those, it hasn't really lived up. So at the end, we saw a good game. We saw a very tactical, strong game from Churchill Brothers with the coach. And that reflects here in the statistics. Yes, certainly it does. Gokulam Kerala with 53% possession, 47 for Churchill Brothers. But look at the amount of shots with both teams took. 17 for Churchill Brothers, 8 on target, 16 for Gokulam Kerala with only 3 on target. The 16 shots that Gokulam Kerala took has been divided amongst Alexis Sanchez who took 5 of them, Edubedia, Justin and Shikuttan with 2 each, Abhijit and Aminu Buba also getting on to that shot taking ability towards the Churchill Brothers goal. Seventeen shots taken by Churchill Brothers. Martin with six of them. Dishiara with four of them. Louis Ogana, Sebastian Zo with two each. Kalegari and Costa with one each. It was a physical battle out there. Gokulam Kerala with 14 fouls. Abhijit Edubedia with 3 each. Justin and Trikutan with 2 each. Alex Sanchez and Nidhin with 1 each. Six fouls by Churchill Brothers. Ralte with 2 of them. Biaka with 1 of them. Kaleari, Costa and Dishiara with one each. And what has been a fascinating encounter started with this effort from Dishiara. It got out a brilliant save from Devanj Tabas and Dishiara with another effort.